Welcome to part one of your Badge 4 workshop. Today we're going to go through some of the skills off of the British Gymnastics Badge 4 sheet. You will have been sent a nice tick-along sheet through your Gym at Home workshop packs, which enables you to watch these videos, have a try at home and put a stamper every time you've tried along and had a go at the skill. When you get back to the gym, we can't wait to see how far you've got with your badges and to sign you all off on your next badge. Now, for today, we need to work on our skipping. We're also going to look at our shoulder stand. And finally, we're going to have a go at the hula hoop challenge. Now, to start with, we're going to do some skipping. To sign off your badge four, you need to be able to skip with a skipping rope. Not everybody is good at skipping with a skipping rope, and that's okay. So I'm going to give you some exercises to help build up your skipping. Firstly, I'd like you to put a skipping rope or a line on the floor. And all I would like you to do is practice jumping over the line. Once you can skip slowly, it's time to build it up. Remember, if your rope's long, you can wrap it round. For your skipping, we want to do small arms so the rope's easier to control. We're going to skip. Now, you don't have to be a pro skipper straight away, but the harder you work at it, the better you'll get. So why not set yourself a challenge? Can you do 10 skips in a row? If that's too easy, can you skip for 30 seconds without stopping? Or why not get inventive and see if you can skip on one foot and then the other? Have fun skipping at home. The next skill on your badge four badge sheet is your shoulder stand. Now, to pass badge four, you need to be able to show a shoulder stand with your hands on your hips using elbow support. For this skill, you will start in a tuck sit, put your hands on your hips, and then all I want you to do is to practice rolling onto your shoulders for support. That's it, let's go together. Roll, can you hold? And then come up. One more time. Roll, hold, and up. Once you can do a tuck shoulder stand, it's time to straighten out your legs and create the shoulder stand required to pass your badge four. In a shoulder stand, it's really important that our feet point to the ceiling and not over towards our head. Really, we should have a straight line all the way from our shoulders to our toes. That is how you do a shoulder stand to pass your badge four. What we would like you to try not to do is roll your feet over to your head like this. Wah, wah, wah. This is where your feet need to be. Now, badge fours, your challenge for this week is to practice your hula hooping. One of your skills on the badge four sign up sheet is hula hooping. So, you can have fun at home. Get your hula hoop, practice your hula hooping, and see how many you can do without dropping it. If you get really fancy, maybe you can hula hoop whilst moving forwards and backwards. We'd love to see your hula hooping videos, so please take some at home and send them in to us on our social media, Call the Gymnastics Academy on Facebook. We can't wait to see what you've been up to at home. I'll see you next week for part two of your Badge 4 workshop. 